Sir, the Anti-Maritime Piracy Bill 2019 proposes Indian authorities to take action against piracy in the high seas. The bill brings into law the UN Convention on the Law of the Sea, while applies to the sea beyond the ex exclusive economic zone that is beyond 200 nautical miles from India's coastline. India signed the United States Nations Convention on Law of the Sea on 10 December 1982 and ratified it on 29 June 1995. Piracy is an ancient phenomenon and its history dates to hundreds of years. It was only in the 20th century that the codification of piracy-related customary laws and practices began. My, uh, sir, the marine environment, after the 1972 United Nations Stockholm Conference on the Human Environment and the conclusion of significant specific convention, the London Dumping Convention of 1972 and the MARPOL Convention of 1973 became broadly accepted objective. According to the 1982 United Nations Convention on the Law of the Sea, piracy is defined as an illegal act of violence or detention or any act of depredation committed for private ends by the crew or the passengers of a private ship. Sir, in accordance with the UN CLOS, CLOS, the bill defines piracy as an illegal act of violence, detention or destruction committed against a ship, aircraft, person or property for private purposes by the crew of the passengers of private ship or aircraft. Sir, piracy has, there are different uh, characteristics of piracies are there, I am not going there. Sir, I just come to very important part that apart from the International Maritime Orga Organization as addressing maritime piracy for some time, Sir, the Jeddah Amendment to the DGBUT Code of Conduct 2017, uh, DCOC, expanded to include human trafficking and other illegal maritime activities in the Western Indian Ocean and the Gulf of Aden area. This, there are so many activities are there in that. Uh, there, uh, I am not going into details. During the period 2009 to 2019, over 500 Indians were captured by pirates around the world at various points of time. The United Nations Security Council, in a number of resolutions adopted since 2008, urged the UN member states to cooperate, uh, to cooperate in investigation and prosecution of all persons responsible for acts of piracy and further called upon states to criminalize piracy under their domestic law and to favorably consider the prosecution of suspected and imprisonment of convicted pirates. Now the question is that we can draw a line or can fence on a solid land which is impossible to make a barrier or line on a liquid or on sea. Hence the system of state baseless is not applied by a state in such a manner as to cut off the territorial sea of another state from the high seas or an exclusive economic zone. Sir, the, uh, I am giving a one way information that's a, but through my speech. The creeks along the coast in Gujarat and Sundarbans in West Bengal are the most preferred routes for smuggling and infiltrations. The security in EEZ is also very important for which state police has no role to play. It is therefore important that imperative and corrective measures are implemented to address the inadequacies to realize the potential of maritime sector. ASG SCAG in its report has said that manpower shortage proved to be the major hindrance in functioning of marine police stations to vigilance of long, long coastline. The surveillance must be strengthened on international border on high seas maritime border and also special training to coastal police for posting in coastal police station. That's a, uh, the problem is this, this training in the coastal police training, that's a very inadequate in our country, in every state where the, the sea coastal line is there. That there, I will request the Honorable Minister to give uh, uh, stress on that, to see that 
these marine time police who are posted there, they should be well trained. Unless they are well trained, it cannot be detected, it cannot be captured. This is a, one of the arena which I have found, according to me, it's a, still we are weak in that. Now, sir, regarding punishment for piracy, the pre details procedure has been stated. I am not on that. I am on. See, the Supreme Court of India has also ruled that awarding a mandatory death penalty for an offense violates the Article 14 and 21 of the Indian Constitution. And hence it is arbitrary and unfair in nature. Even in Section 303 of the Indian Penal Code and Section 27, Subsection 3 of the Arms Act 1959, which provided mandatory death penalty for offenders has been struck down by the Supreme Court. Kindly take note of this and consider this part. Now, what I, we are, I, are, I am suggesting, the instead of death penalty, whether life for imprisonment. Imprisonment means here, you know, now the interpretation, there's a change in the, by the Supreme Court. Till the death, life imprisonment, instead of imposition, mandatory imposition of the death penalty. Kindly consider that part. This is a very, in England, the penalty for the offense of the piracy was a death penalty, but that has since been abolished. The penalty is now life imprisonment. That has been done. And India is also, our Supreme Court is also saying, mandatory death penalty is a offending Article 14 and Article 21 of the Constitution. Mainly it is an offending Article 21 of the Constitution. Therefore, kindly uh, just substitute these words with imprisonment for life. If such person committing the act of piracy causes death or such endanger one's life on safety of a ship or an aircraft or any other means of public transport. Uh, sir, I, so, uh, so far my reading is concerned, so far I have made it uh, since I am a member of the uh, Home Consultative Committee also. Uh, and occasions arise, uh, arose and uh, where I, had, I got the uh, scope to speak also. I will request two, three arenas that have to be given an emphasis, although we are supporting the, accepting that death penalty, what I have stated, and this is all are because of the adaptations of the various conventions I have already said in my speech. Now, the uh, first is this, what I have observed uh, that even the state, Mary, uh, this uh, coastal police, there are coastal police limited. There, in every state, the training is essentially required. Essentially required. Do not this. Do not compare them with the just local police. Other other police. This has to be given an emphasis, and you introduce that centrally. That training has to be taken. How it has to be taken, etc. That has to be given. Secondly, in the border area. Why the state arena is over, eight, uh, possibly 8 NCM, 8 NM, after the 8 NM, immediately, the national, in a national level, why either your border security or whatever it may be, that, that you, have to take in, you have to take care about that. Because immediately after 8, the, the national level police, whoever is, is in charge, they have to take the responsibility of that. This is the arena. A arena is, is really remain no, no one's arena. And the, all that smugglers and all that things are being done in that area, arena. Kindly take care about this. And I have already said about the death penalty. With this, sir, of Thank course, you. this bill was more uh, earlier it was required. We are doing it. Thank you. Sir, Yalav Kumar Suman.